Once again, Mary's letter had triggered an anxiety attack. Max knew nothing about love. It was as, it was as foreign to him as scuba diving. And he'd had an appalling history of getting it all wrong. One Valentine's Day, he'd given Zelda Glutnik a gift he was sure was appropriate. The only companion that had ever warmed Max's bed was his hot water bottle. Romance and love was a mysterious language he'd given up on. If only Mary had asked how a toaster works, or asked for an explanation of the chaos theory. If only there was a mathematical equation for love. He kept Ooh. eating and thinking. But love was not like Max's Rubik's Cube. It could not be solved. And no matter from what angle he analyzed it, the results were negative. Be a creep! He felt love, but couldn't articulate it. Its logic was as foreign to him as, as a salad sandwich. The stars made more sense. The anxiety and stress were too much. The inscrutability of love finally won, and Max's brain gave in. Oh. 